What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our last epic Germany Great Captains training guide. So we're going to be taking a look at Rame, Rameneggi today. This is probably one of the best strikers in the game lads. I will be playing him as a direct centre forward, goal poacher, absolutely insane player, meta player, end game player, whatever you want to call him, OP, overpowered, whatever you want, your word you want to use to describe him. Now the big question for me personally is, is he going to be better than Yang Collar for me? No, he's not. Collar is king, lads. And as ye know, there is only one king in the jungle, and that is Collar in Big Lads FC, or Collar FC. But I do think that Romario is probably, pound for pound, the best striker in the game. I would go on record as saying that Romario is the best player in the game. And I would say by a good bit, in terms of how I've used him, in terms of how I play, and in terms of how easy he is to actually use. Now, Romanegi is in a similar mold to Romario, okay? He's got unwavering form, he's got B rating, he's going to be locked on that. He's got some excellent player skills. In terms of player skills, we'll have a look at Romario in a second. But he's probably, you know, the epic version of Romario that we have on the screen here is very similar with the double touch and the flip flap and all that. Um, you know, with the rising shot and the first time shot and all that sort of stuff. But I do think that Romanegi, because he's an SS, he also does have a, a few other, um, like, key skills that Romario doesn't have. Romario is literally, when you get the ball with him, right, and it's to his feet, you are either turning the shoulder of the defender or else you are one touch passing it clear and running on. It's touch and go with Romario, right, because he's such a good dribbler and he's lovely and uh, able to be able to just control very easily, right? Now, with Romanegi, he's a bit more kind of of, um, he's more of a finisher um Dan Romario in terms of like he is obviously down as a goal poacher and he's going to have different AI but in terms of him he's more of a playmaker I would say and especially with his low passing it's just slightly better from the rip right so Romario's passing as you see here even when we have boosted up with six Romario's default passing is only 63 Romanegi's when you notice here is 72 for low pass so that is a big key difference in the cards but other than that I would be using Romario as the the kind of like the litmus test with Romanegi because I think that they both are extremely good players game changing center forwards and you could train him up in a very easy way there's no real um confusion how you would be training him up right so he's got 28 levels to go as you see here the one thing I like about him as well lads is because he is a goal poacher right you don't need to spend as many coin or as many points on his dexterity and he'll still have a really good offensive awareness um whereas with Romario you need to go that little bit extra you need to put 10 on Romario but anyway I digress so with a goal poacher you are just wanting to be basically playing him as he is right and you're going to want to be getting him on to the end of everything that you possibly can okay so we're going to pop 10 into shooting to get his shooting up to uh, 88 we're going to have three into passing we're going to have eight into dribbling nine into dexterity and five into lower body that gives us a 97 rated version of Rummy um 91 speed 89 acceleration 90 offensive awareness 88 finishing 87 tight possession but when he's on it on form and he gets the form arrow boost you're going to have you know 90 plus acceleration speed offensive awareness tight possession ball control and dribbling are all going to be high 80s low 90s and then your finishing is going to be over 90 as well as you're passing that's going to be there thereabouts now you could train this player slightly differently depending on your play style I would probably keep the finishing. I wouldn't go lower than 87 on the finishing because I do want that curl to be at least 71, 72. So, you know, with the boost in that, I would like that to be at least 88, 89. Um, the passing, you can give or take. I mean, you could keep the passing at 72 um, and throw one touch pass on this guy and he would do the job for you. Especially when you pass to him, you know that you're just going to be going for goal anyway. So that's not a real massive concern um if i'm using that i just threw the passing on there to get the 97 rated version of him which is kind of you know not really important but for the dribbling you could go with that 88 type possession that will get the boost as well that will bring it into the 90 so you're really kind of deciding whether you want to have you know 90 offensive awareness over 90 offensive awareness i should say over 90 type possession finishing speed and acceleration with this version of it because of the boosts right if you don't put one more on to uh the dribbling you won't get that tight possession over the 90 mark. You know what I mean? So that's just something to keep in mind. But I definitely do think he's one of the best players um, that they have released. Uh, and I do think that he is an instant game changer for anybody, especially if you're struggling with the game and struggling to score. You know, you can also, you know, pop up the finish to have it over 90 uh, off the rip if he's on normal form arrow. 
But I definitely think that this guy is all about just pace and uh, getting the ball into the net. That's basically his main job, you know. He's not going to offer you too much in the air. Um, he'll offer you more than Romario, but Romario still scores goals in the air for me. So take that with a pinch of salt because he can score goals. And if you look at Romario here, they're very similar. You know, 90 offensive, uh, 80, 87, 87 for ball control and tight possession, 88 for finishing, speed 87, balance 90, 93 acceleration. Rummy's balance is the big kind of factor here that really changes this card compared to Romario. And that's because of his height and that's how they balance the cards. So that's why we've popped 10 into dexterity. If you want to go even more with that, you could get away with 85 shooting. If you wanted that 85, 86 shooting, and you could pop a few more into dexterity to have more acceleration and get that balance over 80 when you get the form arrow up. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. But definitely um, see how you go with him and let me know what you think of these training guys. Any feedback is much appreciated and we will hope to see you later in another video. All right, lads, that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.